Time to figure out what's on this thing. Oh. Inscription. <laughs> Okay, uh, I've seen a lot about this game and it looked pretty cool. Um, I've only seen the first bit of gameplay. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Your stoat stands on a post. The number on the bottom left is its attack power, one. stole dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. <laughs> because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Pass. Okay. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two Denisians of the forest approached you tentatively. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. The caustic adder damage from its poison bite is always lethal. You may one, only one may grace your paltry deck. Uh, I'm gonna go with the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Okay. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Okay.
does. But okay. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Okay. I'll just draw squirrels, I guess. This is a learning opportunity, maybe the only way to ma mitigate my disappointment. Get up, get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh. Bring it here. Oh. Now sit back down. explain something to you. That was one of two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Oh. <laughs> a young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. A meek sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Um, I'm gonna go with the sparrow. Okay. You've stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. The cat's really good, but it doesn't have attack, so. <laughs> Pick me. Um. Okay. <laughs> what an honor. A ghostly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stove. my totem and inscribes my canine cards with the airborne seal. Well, my totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Whoa. Um. I don't. I think I'm supposed to lose. It is time for you to perish. Oh. Okay. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. 
Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. You can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. A cost of two blood from the wolf. And another. This time I will use its power and health, the numbers. Three power and two health from the wolf. Now choose a card from which you're flying. I never did ask you your name. Rowan. There is now but one final matter the portrait. Cheese. Oh. It's like a flash thing. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. A resourceful opossum grants two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay. From the death card of your creature, you, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Oh, I see. I can play. Oh, I did it. Okay, um, oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Okay. Ooh. Oh, mm. I'm just gonna turn around. Let us continue. Now, let's see. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. A nefarious rattler. A brittle creature once passed its monstrous fangs. A meager coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? The undying could be really good. I'm gonna go with the undying. You know, you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of the car one of my cards of these. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. Choose one. Oh. I'm gonna go with the bones. I think it'll be most helpful. Feeling overburdened with enough with a full three items you've carried on. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for these rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Uh, okay. Back on the board.
is going I can see you may accept my surrender or you may finish this match the slow way what if I if you desire it you may stand now it will allow me time to plan I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. Uh. Hi. He goes, keep your hands off my possessions, and I just go around touching everything. What is this? Okay. I'll get a code eventually. Oh! 273. As I just said, maybe I'll get a code eventually. <laughs> it gives me a code. I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. There was a... Add that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck, and I'll do you one every so often. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. So we have two, two. What would? No. Okay. 
That's two. Is it? I don't think it is. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Work for Ant. Oh, there's more! Oh, that's really close. Um, hmm. That's four. What if I did that? Oh! Cage wolf. Curious. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of clicking. I guess so that goes to that and that Having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Uh, okay. Oh, hi. Oh, from. Okay. Let's continue. Beehive, the invulnerable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. Coyote. Rowan, let's go! I didn't even really think about that one. I just kinda. So that will give me items, but I already have three. Let's go this way. Oh. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors ripening drool from their mouth. Um. Okay. Should. I don't know. I feel like any one of them would be good. Let's do the stove. The fire warmed the poor stove, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stove away from the fire and left. Oh. Great. <laughs> you again. 
Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay. Wait, let me see. Uh... Spot, you sure? Um, kind of sure, but don't worry about it, it'll be okay. Enough! Back in the game. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Luckily, lucky for you. Oh, nice. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his belts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. They are gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Take a pelt, free of charge. See the quality? Oh. Okay. <gasps> Jesus. You're leaving already? Please, consider me pelts. I gotta go, homie. The thanks for your business. Ew. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that the traitor further down the pass would reward you for them. I don't think I really have... I'm just gonna do another power up, I think. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power. Really 
does anything, so I'm just gonna go for it. I think he's just a barrier. Like the boulder. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Oh, I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Um... These pelts are most excellent. My thanks. Uh, the choice is yours. Can I do squirrels? <laughs> battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I'll let you keep the smoke. Oh. Whoa. The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear clinking on the metal on the stone. The hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeehaw! Twas the prospector. Boss, the mule's key.
Oh, I get to make another card. I think. Hopefully. Stay there. No need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm. Where did I put that camera mud? Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Bones. The cost of two bones from the fossil. And in another. This time I'll use his power and health. The numbers. Um. Do another wolf. Now choose a card from which we will exact the sigils. Skink. A sigil of loose tail. Skink. Never did ask you your name. Um. I don't know. Call it match. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Oh, not again. Say cheese. Another challenger. Did I tell you of the tale of the one who came before you? They fell to a mad prospector. Nothing comes between that man and his gold. It seems a lowly stink butter bug has made his way in. But it is so dull, so it stands. Oh! choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Canine. Wolf cub. Do you, do you wish for something else? Not really. from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and gestured at them briskly. Choose.
understand my issue. That's okay. I won't allow you to play a card before you draw a new one. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or it will tear you to shreds. Okay. Um... Total misplay? What do you mean? We're gonna win. Don't even worry about it. See? Rude. Dinosaur. The ten tenacious king. It moves over when attacked, leaving its tail behind. Okay. Bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Oh, I wanted to. her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Squirrel. There's a third talking card somewhere Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get the things back to normal. A wolf in a cage. The how to break it. So. There's another... Oh! Okay. Let's keep going then. Casey? Black goat. The apothecized goat, the match offering, sacrificing it grants three blood. The watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. What is that? I mean... I think that would be useful. Oh no. 
I guess. There we go. Oh, okay. After this, I'll go look at what happened. I don't know what this is, but I'm like... Okay. 